Good morning, guys. <clears throat> How are you doing on this freezing? When I say freezing, freezing, freezing morning. Currently 41 degrees with a high of 47 today. With and I regret, and I regretfully have to say the S word. Yes, tonight we have our first chance of snow flurries and for the next two to three days, snow flurries. So this week is gonna be uh, honestly a good week to get to the Equip Expo. Starting the morning off here, getting the uh, skid loader cleaned up a little bit because it's going in for its winter service. So we're gonna get on down here. We're using a local company in Canton, South Ohio called Lepo Rents. And uh, yeah, super good guys. I believe they're also a steel dealer, but uh, I didn't set this up. TQ got this all set up and uh, I'm just simply delivering the goods. You know what I'm saying? That's how we roll at Spencer Lawn Care. But anyways, I'll bring you guys back in one second and uh, yeah, we'll get this baby dropped off and then we're gonna get to work. All right guys, walking out of Bobcat of Canton, Lepo Rents. This is what I need right here. Exactly what I need. Yeah. Cabin closure is really nice. Nice machine. All right, guys, so all I need you to do is tell TQ I need a new skid loader. <laughs> and if any of you subscribers want to call up Rents of Canton, I'm down. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm all for it. Nice machine. Definitely, definitely we'll get a track machine for our next one. Which may be sooner than later. Let's get this baby unloaded. Really cool guys in here. Went into the service department. A guy up at the desk told me just to throw something at the guy. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to skip out on that. You never know. Dropping her off. Looks like somebody uh, may have had an oil spill. So since the last time I've been here, which has been a few years, they started selling a little bit more equipment. And uh, they actually carry tractors here, as you can see. Got another one over here, little guy. Skid loader I showed you earlier. There you go. They also uh, do have a few of the bobcat mowers here. Just looks like the sit downs. I don't see any of the, uh, the stand ons. So, let's roll. Here, Sean speaking. Get to work. So 
this is Nuts Edge, and they treated it probably, I think, about a month, month and a half ago, and then once again a couple weeks ago. Told us to let it die off and then pull it out. Well, typically this stuff you don't want to pull because it spreads really, really fast. And they say the only way to truly remove it is to dig down 18 inches of the soil, toss that soil, and replace it with new soil, and then uh, obviously, you know, remulch. We're going to see if this will work before we go to that next step. It's been getting really bad in this location this year for some reason. We've never dealt with it before, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes and keep you guys informed. Here, in a lot of our commercial companies, we have to work around the employees because you know they're trying to do a job while we're here just trying to do a job as well. So you have to have your head and eyes on a swivel at all times. Just like this instance, a couple employees walked out while I was mowing and trimming just because they need to go from point A to point B and uh, get that taken care of. So we have to always, and you should always have your head on a swivel uh, just to make sure you're not slinging anything at anybody because the employees don't really know you know they're just trying to do their job and get it done as quick as possible but you don't want them to accidentally walk into 
you know, a, a situation that could get something slung at them and injure them. And, uh, you know, we as professional companies, we don't want that on our conscience as well. You know, we don't want to hurt anybody. So, yeah, let's get it going. You guys remember Home Alone when he leaves like the hints for his mom and dad that he wants a BB thing? What's up, TQ? I said, what's up, TQ? Oh, sorry. Still had my music playing. You were jamming out? I was jamming. Grab that gimbal so it doesn't fall there, please. Good day, good day. Yeah, it is nice out. What are those? What? Raindrops. Raindrops? Raindrops keep falling on my head. Can you grab that? I gotta get to see if there's any gum in there. This? Yeah. Oh. I got some right here. You got some gum? I got some right here. Okay. <laughs> oh, so how was it back there? It was good. Yeah? It was tall. A lot of pine needles. Oh yeah, they're everywhere. Can you grab that so I can put the gum in here? Thank you. What the heck are you trying to do here? Nothing. What are you talking about? What, what's going on, guys? What's he? What's he doing? <laughs> I'm, not doing like, it. I'm not doing anything. You keep telling me to move stuff like you can't. Oh, just... I forgot to say. You know, did you see? Bobcat has some nice new skid loaders, TQ. See those? Like what, a lot. What are you trying to get at? Nothing. I are wouldn't... you trying to tell me you bought one? No. Or, babe, I, I want a new one. I, babe, I just want to tell you, you are one tough animal. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> oh, no, before you got in a, this going? <laughs> before you got in the truck, I said, uh, I said, you guys remember Christmas story when the the boy leaves hints for his mom and dad that he wants a new. <laughs> BB pew pew. <laughs> oh man. I I'm guess it went, hints, it went over my head, I guess. It's I don't okay. know. Because okay. you just got a new chainsaw. What else do you need? <laughs> That's an open question. <laughs> that is a very open question. I mean, I need a lot of things. Oh, or man. want a lot of things. But anyways, 
Freezing cold, starting to sprinkle here a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, I literally thought I seen a snowflake earlier, but it was just all my imagination, I'm telling myself right now. Well, I will show you guys. Don't those look like snow clouds? Yes, I need to get on the right side of the road. Those things, yeah, they're looking rough. And there ain't no snow, no, and there ain't no thunderstorms in the forecast. So there's only one thing that comes out of dark clouds like that. And it's moisture, TQ. All right, guys, we're gonna knock both of these out here. TQ is gonna start by blowing out the beds just so we can mulch them in for now. in okay they want the leaves to stay on the lawn provide the nutrients and everything to the lawn and these lawns look absolutely great so that's what we're gonna do blow all the leaves out we'll mulch them in over the next I don't know two to three weeks as we can we don't bag these ones we don't take them with us that'll all start next week when we get back from the equipment guys so we've reached the height on this lawn that we want to and the neighbor's lawn as well we've reached two and a quarter that's where we're going to leave it for the winter time we will come back and probably do one more leaf mulch in uh, probably two to three weeks maybe two more depending on what the customer requests fall came early this year and i think old uh, man winter is going to be right there behind them coming very quickly
guys. We got it all mulched in. Simply the neighbors are filling it back in just as quickly. His hasn't even really changed yet. That beautiful tree across the street though is causing havoc and that one over there for everybody right now. I cannot believe how quickly fall came this year. It was like summer done, boom, 90s, 40 degrees guys, steadily. Well guys, there you have it. First snowflakes, ice flakes, whatever you want to call them, of the year. <laughs> I guess it was inevitable, right? It was gonna happen. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Kind of a very unique day, but I'll tell you what, the weather is really starting to change. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out, peace. Bye.